How's it going guys? Kawasaki here and today I am back with another Thoughts, Picks and Predictions video. Today I'm going to be covering TGPW's Yes Wonderland which will be live on May 5th or 6th depending on where you're at on Wrestle Universe. I believe the price is only $12.98 which is like 8 bucks. But enough of that. Let's get right into it because there's a lot I definitely need to say not just on the card but just like in general <clears throat> so to kick things off we have toga versus shino suzuki then we have chika nanase and mahiro kiryu versus or no, chika nanase mahiro kiryu and kiryu summer versus uta takami mokamimoto and the bird kaitori bami then we have a special appearance by yuna manase and she's gonna be taking on runa okubo Riga Tatsumi and Yuka Aino versus Raku and Palm Harajuku. Haru Kazushiro versus Maki Ito. Team Yuki, Yuki Rai and Yuki Kamifuku versus Nao Kakuta and Mizuki. Then, in our co main event, we have Tag Team Champions on the line as Suzume and Risa Endo will be taking on Wakana Urahara and Himawari. And finally, in your main event, we have Mi Watanabe defending against Shoko Nakajima. Alright, it's been a minute since I've done some of these, and it's been a while since I've watched GPW, if I'm going to be 100% honest. But, Toga, Shino, this is going to be a pretty decent match. I mean, it's going to be a good starter. Can't really say too much, other than Shino needs to come up with a finisher. Because I think all she has is a sleeper hold. I know Toga's looking kind of crazy right now. She, I've, I've, she's been doing the uh, Rolling Thunder. But, two up-and-coming stars. One of the... A couple of the newer members of the roster. I know they've been pushing Toga a little more. So, just from my perspective, I think Toga's gonna pick up the victory against Shino. Sadly, we don't know. Then, six woman tag team match Chika Manase, Kira Summer, Mahiro Kiryu, Uta Takami, Toka Miyamoto, and finally, Higano. The Bird. The Bird just had a show over at Daikaiju Pro out here in the US. I haven't watched the match yet, but if I can find it, I do want to watch it. Uh, Uta Takami, Chika Nanase, Akira Summer, the newest of the TGPW roster. Um, I know we do have Mahiro and Mocha. If you're going to go based on Tej's booking, you'd probably say Uta, Mocha, Bird wins. And. But, you could also say Mahir Kiryu picks up the win with her painting Uta. Because they do definitely like to have the newer members of the rosters eat the pin. I don't, but then again, Uta just teamed up with Maki last week. And they won against Toga and I think Myro. I don't remember off the top of my head, I just saw the highlights. I've been so busy, but I do have an announcement soon. But, getting back to it, I personally would... I'd probably have Mocha, Kaya win on Uta over Chika, Mahiro, Kira. Chika or Kira would probably eat the pin. But again, that's just me. Next up, we haven't seen Yuna Manase in TGPW in quite a while. I think like a year or two. She'll be taking on Runa. On a Runa again. A rising star in the roster. She's still considered a rookie because this is her debut year. Yuna Manase being a vet as well as training like half the goddamn roster and half of the goddamn Joshis. So, Runa's probably gonna bring out her best against Yuna, but Yuna's with her in ring experience, she's most likely gonna win. I personally wouldn't complain. Next up, we have. Rika, Yuka Aino versus Palm and Raku. I just feel like this is kind of a match. But. This can possibly set up for Palm and Raku to go for the tag titles. I'm calling it right now. Somehow, someway, Palm and Raku might win and they're going to be defending. Or they're going to be challenging for the tag belts. Cause that's how usually some of this stuff works. Cause I know Mia Watanabe is busy with the Princess of Princess belt, 
And Yuki Aino really doesn't really have a partner right now. It'll be an upset if Palmeraka win. Now, this match is a little special. Because, besides the fact that Maki's come, recently come back to TGPW after her, like, two and a half week stint in the US, Haru actually looks up to Maki as like an inspiration. So this is quite a big match for her. For Maki, absolutely nothing to lose. And really nothing really to gain. But for Haru, it's quite the opposite. I know Haru's definitely gonna have to put in everything against Maki, but we all know. Maki, Iron Head, the cutest in the world. It's gonna be too much for Haru to handle. Now, we have Team Yuki versus Nao and Mizuki. And I know Nao is starting to wind down on her career. She will be retiring in July. And these sort they saw them tag teaming since Yuka left. Now and Mizuki. But like after that, where's Mizuki gonna go? Now it's gonna be gone in July. And then you have Yuki and Yuki. These two took each other on for the princess inter or the international princess belt. So it'll kinda be interesting. I think these two could mesh well together. This could be a potential tag team if it's not eat to respect army slash Maki Yuki happy. Team Yuki could possibly go for the tag belts. Yuki Rai could be a two-time. I don't think Camille's won the tag belts yet. But, you know how this is going to play out. So, Yuki Kamifuku is about to come back from Singapore. So, Yuki Rai just works all the big shows. I think Team Yuki's going to win. Now, tag team champion. Me personally, I love the team of Suze Vaynerisu. And they won the, This will be, I believe, their first title defense. And the first title defense is going to be Wakana and Himawari. Wakana and Himawari started teaming with each other as of recent, and they were the two debuts, I think, last year at Korako and Hall, January 4th. Like, they, like, these two debuted at the same time. Wakana did have a bit of an advantage because she did do Dream on the Ring. Compared to Himawari, Himawari had, I think, two appearances over an actress before she left. So, this will be a really fun match. I can root for both teams, but I know damn well my heart lies with Team Daisy Monkey. I want more. More Daisy Kong Country tag team title defenses. I don't even know who's going to actually beat them for the belt. Because, I mean, you have, like, Daydream. You have Kiraku Kyome. You also have One One Million. And that's kind of it. Madden Sugar Rapids is no more. Free Wi Fi, I have no idea what the hell is happening. They're gonna disband. Yuki Aino and Rima Tsunami. Rima Tsunami is only there for a cup of tea. Then you have, like, Team Toyo University. You don't have that many tag team options in two years. And Arisa and Suzume definitely solidified themselves as, like, a tag team. And honestly, one of my personal favorites. So, I'm gonna say they're gonna return. Now, the main event, you have Miyu Watsunabe vs Shoko Nakajima. Shoko laid down the gauntlet to Miyu. And I know, if you're looking back, Miyu did beat Miyu over at Grand Princess to win the belt. Story's finally completed. And these two have faced off each other on multiple occasions. I know for like, a good amount, Shoko has won. But as of recent, Miyu has beaten Shelko. This one's gonna be fun one, because it's gonna be speed versus power. As I said, I can root for both, because I do enjoy both, but I think Miyu is gonna retain. And I'm kind of curious who's gonna challenge for the belt next. But yeah, that's my picks, thoughts, and predictions for Yes Wonderland. I'm probably gonna be streaming this on Sunday. It is Sunday at around 7.30. So, if you wanna watch, do a watch along with us either you can click the link in the description down below to join our discord server or click on that bell icon if you're subscribed you should subscribe by the way that bell notification or that bell icon will tell you when i go live and it'll send you a push notification enough of that 
Thank y'all for watching. And I'll catch y'all next uh, stream.